how's it going guys? So I've just taken delivery of my new Ruggable doormat from Ruggable.com. So I'm gonna do an unboxing quick review of this thing. Okay guys, so this is the Ruggable doormat. You can get it from Ruggable.com and obviously their whole USP is all about the fact that you can, it's a two piece system um, and you can take the uh, top matte part, which is obviously the bit that gets dirty all the time. You can remove it because it's just stuck on using their Velcro system and chuck it in the washing machine whenever it gets dirty. Give it a spruce and then put it back on and it looks as good as new. That's the whole idea of the Ruggable doormat and all of the Ruggable rugs that are on their website. All the link uh, that you need will be in the description. So have a click on that um, and it'll help me get a kickback as well for you enjoyed the video as well. So that's really good. Um, okay, so yeah, you get the uh, thing delivered in this uh, brown kind of a cardboard box. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna unwrap it on the floor and we'll have a look what we get inside. Okay guys, so here is the actual box. So I'm just gonna open up the flaps. Now one thing to note, full disclosure, is I actually ordered the letter D. D for Dip Discovery. Obviously my name's Dip, that's the idea. But they've actually sent me the wrong letter. They sent me an R. And I checked the actual box label and it says D, so they've obviously messed up somewhere in the warehouse. Anyway, I've contacted Ruggable and uh, told them that they messed up. They wanted to see proof uh, or a picture to show that uh, they have actually messed up and I sent it to them. And you know what? They said, well, okay, uh, our fault. Sorry about that. We're going to send you a new uh, top uh, mat with the correct letter but it's going to take one to two weeks to get you, get to you, which is pretty fail because it's uh, quite a long delivery, really. I've already been waiting long enough since December because of obviously the uh, raw mail strikes, but it is what it is. Um, but they're sending out free of charge, obviously, and they let me keep this R, which I'm kind of stuck with, but I don't know anyone with the surname R. But if you've got a surname R, let us know, and uh, maybe I can send it out to you. Anyway, so that's the uh, first thing you get, the uh, Ruggable uh, mat. Um, that's the actual mat piece. Obviously, it's a two-piece system. So we're just going to take that off. We'll tuck it to the side. Get some things inside the... Uh, uh, some documents here inside. It's basically getting started how to assemble it, um, how to put it together, how to wash it, how to vacuum it, how to take care of the doormat. And obviously, you get also some... This is just like some stuff trying to sell you some furniture, some vouchers as well from a... Must be a partner that they've got going on. Shut that to the side. Uh, got a warning label here. Make sure you don't give it to your kids and make them kill themselves by suffocation. And then that's it. This is the actual door mat itself. So let's see if I can open this thing up. Let me just get some scissors. Okay, guys. So I just put a slit in that and I'm pulling out the uh, rubber part. Now, this is obviously isn't your average Joe doormat it's a very you can tell straight away it's a very high quality thing you know this isn't something five pound you get from home bargains it's like a good quality mat this is this this rubber base has got some serious weight to it and all these holes that you see here basically what they are are drainage holes so the idea is is that when it rains and it gets soaked the um, the water won't pool on here to help keep it as dry as possible and it'll go down into these drainage holes that will obviously raise slightly off the ground um, and it'll uh, you know uh, keep the rain from pooling on top of the uh, doormat which is not what you want and then obviously you get moss and all the rest of it. If I flip it over, oh I just got some weight, you've got some uh, uh, just a little, looks like a little signature really just telling you about when it was founded and all the rest of it. You've got these nice little, these are what holds the Velcro in place for the uh, the mat. And it's just got the logo in there as well. But it's, it's got some weight to it, this guys. I mean, this is probably, flipping neck. I think all together, you might be looking at five kilogram, something like that. But it's quite a decent size as well. It's a really, really good size. It's not a puny, tiny one that you see sometimes. If I get the uh, little measure tape out, um, you're looking at, uh, width, you're looking at 91 centimeters width, so nearly a meter, and then depth, you're looking at 60, 60 centimeters 
uh, depth, so it is a very decent size. And the idea of these are the Velcro, obviously that's the whole point of that. So you've got a label on there you'll have to remove, just like a, a care label. And obviously I've not read the instructions properly, but yeah, you know, you just kind of stick that on there and make sure you get it all symmetrical. I'll just stick it on dead quick so you get an idea. And you know, that's how it, that's how it kind of works. So, um, looks really cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to take this one out yet and properly put it outside because I'm waiting for my proper one to turn up with the D because they messed up. But then I'll put it in front of the door and you'll get a better idea of how it is. Um, but if you want to know how thick this one is, I mean, the mats are all the same. You've got those different designs. This is about six mil thick. So probably a bit more actually, probably six, between six and seven mil thick. Um, and you know, if I put my feet on there, get an idea of how, just how big it is. So it is quite a spacious mat to, um, you know, wipe your feet on. It feels good quality, this as well. Very fine uh, thread on it, thread count. You can definitely tell it's got some fine thread count. Be interesting to see how well this print stands up, but maybe I'll do a follow-up review after that. But yeah, I'm gonna wait till I get my uh, proper mat uh, sent, and then I'll put it outside. You can see it in front of the door after about a week's worth of use. Okay guys, so I've actually received the correct letter, monogram, for the doormat I ordered, and I've got it on now. Um, now, it does look good, uh, but one thing I did notice is compared to the one that originally came with it, I don't know how well this is pick up on the camera, but the colour is slightly different. Uh, I'm not sure how well it'll come up on the camera, maybe if I put flash on, but this is more, this is more of like a reddy kind of, uh, it's got more orangey red tinge to it than this one, which is more of a, a brown, like a light, Kind of brown and um, it's a bit i don't know if it, you'll you'll see it but yeah the colors aren't an exact match which is quite interesting um you can see it more in real life to be honest than you can probably on the camera but they are slightly different um don't know if that'll bother anyone maybe if you're buying two of these um while, while one's in the wash it might be something to think about but it's just uh, an observation I had, <clears throat> which is quite interesting. So, I'm gonna put this out in my front door, outside, and then uh, I'll see how it is, and then I'll give an update after I've had it for a, a week or so. All right guys, so I've been using the ruggable doormat for about two, three weeks now, so I've got quite a bit of experience with it, so let's have a look at it. Okay, so here it is in front of my door this is where i have it so it is quite wide and it fits in quite nicely in front of the door it's kind of like the same kind of width as the door so let's have a look now there's a few things that i wanted to mention as you can see it's got quite a bit of mud and dirt on it now so it's doing its job in catching the dirt it does catch mud quite easily um which is kind of good but because it is actually quite shallow the mud kind of unlike other doormats it is quite a, a shallow uh doormat so the mud kind of sticks on top doesn't stick into the fibers so you do have to use a brush and sweep it away uh, or you can just hose it down now one of my uh, main annoying kind of points about this doormat which you won't really realize until you actually have one but i mean here as you can see in front of my door i have this little kind of roof here you know just over the door but it's not doesn't stick out that much so it doesn't really stop any rain from coming down and hitting the doormat so if the rain does come in from the you know side or what have you and it does get drenched um is it doesn't even though obviously you've got these holes at the you know underneath on the rubber that's supposed to channel the the water out it kind of retains its water to be honest and it doesn't really evaporate very quickly as you can see around here it's been raining the night before but it's drying out on these flags like you know they're not wet but the the, the mat itself is quite wet, so when you stand on it, you know, uh, you can hear a bit that it's, it's, it's a bit, you know, soggy. But then when you obviously step off it, your, uh, your feet, uh, you know, are wet. And basically, it doesn't dry out very quick, as you can kind of see 
there it's, it's, it's you know the moisture's come off my shoe from the mat and then basically what it means is when you open up your door and you just stepped on this even though the flags are dry this is still wet and then you're carrying the wet shoes into the house which is you know it's a bit annoying that it doesn't dry out that quick so that's my main pain point about this doormat is you know if you've got it outside then it is going to um uh and it and it does rain obviously it's going to stay soggy soggy for a while so it's probably better off in summer to be honest um you know where it can dry out quicker but um in winter it's quite annoying really because it, it stays wet for a long time and then you have to take the your wet shoes inside so it doesn't really dry off the shoes as you walk in so that's just something to to consider um other than that though it's really been fine the, the grip on the uh, the velcro uh, base has uh, kept its place and it's done all right um you just need to you know sweep it down obviously if it gets muddy but that's easy enough done but obviously you could chuck it in the wash and that's the main thing really obviously of the ruggable doormat so yeah i'll probably say it's better off if you've got uh, a larger canopy um, or you know maybe indoor instead or you've got a section where it isn't getting hit by rain all the time then you'd be better off because it just doesn't dry out quick enough um otherwise you'd be better off maybe thinking of something else but anyway uh that's my rug ball doormat review uh, if you've got any questions give them a, a comment on the video and i'll check you on the next one